Good early morning guys here in Bangkok. It's currently 6 a.m. and we're just out the front of our hotel or Airbnb waiting for a grab. Yes, we're heading down to the coast to Hawaii Hing today. From door to door, it should take about five hours. So we'll see how that goes. If everything goes to plan, I'm so annoyed. The train's all booked out. but for the toll that we used on the motorway. Oh God, there's a lot going on here and it's only 6.30 in the morning. This station is absolutely massive. The, I have never seen anything like this. It is bigger than most airports we've ever been to. We haven't pre-bought any train tickets yet because apparently it's cheaper to buy them on the day at the station. And it said that um, it can't sell out. So there are <laughs> quite a few trains that run down to Huahin frequently. We're um, going for what, the 7.30 train? We get the 7.30 train. Alright, oh, this chair's a bit rickety. Uh, so we got our tickets, but it wasn't what we thought. I'm so annoyed. Usually I am the most planned, organised person, like booking a year in advance. I thought, no, we'll get to the station and we'll buy our ticket. The train's all booked out. After the research said the trains will not book out. Not book out. So they said there was, when we did our research, a 7.30 and 8.30 air-conditioned train. So we're like, all right, if we miss the first one, we can get the second one, but there's no second one. We have to get the 945 train. From Bangsu Junction. From a different station. So Which is across the road. Yeah. It's the old one, it's the old Bangsu Junction one, and it's it's gonna take four hours on a non-air conditioned train. So it's three hours delayed from our original time, and oh, so not three hours, like what? what's that? Two hours. So two hours, plus it's gonna take longer. No air conditioning, which I'm not that unhappy about. I it just am. we had plans that when we get there, we're going to do our visa because we're going to extend our visa for another month. I'm actually going to just, I don't know. See if we can book something online, maybe. Yeah, because that was only 88 baht for two people, which is less than four dollars. It's like, I don't, I don't even know. It's like less than two dollars each. So we're going to have a look online, see if we can find any tickets for an earlier train, leaving somewhere in Bangkok, and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, change of plan. Big change of plan. So we're going to cancel today, forfeit the $2 train ride that we're going to take with the non-aircon train and go tomorrow morning instead. Yeah, I don't think we could take four hours sitting on the non-air-conditioned train. No, so. I don't, as bad as that sounds, I don't care. Like, we want to be on air-conditioning train because it's 40 degrees here in Thailand, so. We've got tickets for the train for tomorrow morning, same train we should be on right now. So yeah. instead, we're having a coffee <laughs> at our, back at our hotel. Yep, and we're going to have some breakfast, do our visa extension and just get stuff done and then head down to Wahin tomorrow. All right, we'll see you back <laughs> at the train station in like a second. Yep. Well, this feels a little bit like deja vu. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours later, <laughs> we are back. But did you not hear me say that at the same time? I did. <laughs> All right, we've got to find the platform that we're on and where we're we going. We've got, we've got our e-tickets that we got online last night or yep. yesterday morning and we're back here obviously at the station. There's the board, we just gotta find our platform. This this station, Krung Thep Atsiwat, has no business being this ostentatious. It's like, for no reason. It doesn't need to be this big at, at this point in time, anyway. Alrighty, so we think we're in the right spot. We are, we've been told to come to platform E or the E section in this waiting area. Also, this is the biggest train station or railway station in all of Southeast Asia. It is so big. I think there's 24 platforms and it's just, yeah, it's huge. What do we end up paying for tickets? 
Uh, it was about 16 Australian dollars each one way to Hua Hin from here. Um, if we had have opted for the rickety old non-aircon train yesterday. Which we did end up buying tickets for, but we just yeah. were like, we're not going to do that. I can't remember if we said that yesterday, but that was only like less than $2 each. So I don't mind paying the extra $14 to have aircon and go for an hour and a half less. This is only, this is supposed to be bang on three hours. So yeah. the train departs at 7.30. It's supposed to get in at 10.30. So we'll see if there are any delays or if we can get to Huahin on time. So the final destination of this train is Surat Thani, which is where you go to get to some of the islands, Koh Samui, Koh Tao, Koh Kanyash. So we're not going that far today, we're going to hop off about three hours in. We found one of our seats. We couldn't find an option to book together online, so we are separated. Christy's a few seats in front of us, mm -hmm. so we're just going to sit together now and then see if we can stay this way. Yeah, hopefully we don't get separated. It's not a big deal if we do. Um, we don't mind, but preferably we'd like to sit together. Seven thirty, leaving on time, so do not be late for this train. They'll leave without you. So far, it looks like we can sit together. It's not completely booked out, but we definitely cannot stress this enough. Book advance, book in advance. We used 12 Go Asia. They're great. We use them for all of our bookings around Thailand um, and definitely do it at least the day before. Don't do what we did and minimum, just rock up. It says on the website minimum three hours before your train with that specific company, yeah. Twelve Go Asia. Yep. But yeah, book at least 24 hours in advance and do not be like us yesterday because it was just a lot of unnecessary stress. And it wasn't a fun time. No, nah. <laughs> but we're here now. We're here now. Snack at breakfast time. So I have a banana. Some tamarind. I love this. I don't know, I think it's a fruit, but they dry it out and it's really nice. And a bag of almonds. So this should get me through for the next three hours until we can get some delicious Thai food. That's so dark. <laughs> until we can get some delicious Thai food when we get to Wahin. There are shops at the train station. There wasn't a huge selection. I've grabbed some of these. I'm hoping they're like pineapple cookies. Pringle. So healthy, isn't he? <laughs> Water. I'm going to share some of mine with Steve though because I feel that that's not a very nutritional breakfast that he's actually eating. I don't know when it was built, but it looks very recent. Really smooth, really comfortable. The recline on the seats were fantastic. It was aircon, like we said earlier. Yeah. There was toilets if you need to go to the toilet. Were they nice? I didn't uh, know. They were all right. There was a few power points if you want to charge your phone. Good leg room as well. A standard train, basically, but nice. So our hotel is about two kilometers away from here. I think we're going to just try and catch a grab. Yeah. We've checked into our hotel here in Wahin. This is our room. It, we only paid for about 42 Australian dollars a night for this. That was a really heavily discounted rate. I don't know what it is normally, but that's what we got it for. And we only booked about a week in advance. So we've got a giant, I, don't, I think it's bigger than a king size bed, huge. Lots of room, a TV from the 1700s behind Steve, a tiny little bar fridge, desk. It's actually quite spacious. Bathroom, I'm not going to come in here with you. It's 
kind of just a standard bathroom. Nothing too fancy. It does have a swimming pool though. I didn't realize this hotel has a swimming pool up on the fifth floor. We are in the heart of Hua Hin, right near the night market. It's about a five minute walk to the beach. But I think we're going to, I don't know, what are we gonna do? It's been a long day. It's been actually a long 48 hours has, since yeah. we started this vlog, but now we've checked in. Yes. I've grabbed a <laughs> singer beer and I yeah. think we're gonna head down to the beach. We're gonna go for a walk along here and check out Hua Hin Beach. It looks looks a little bit rough. I cannot tell you how good it feels to get out of Bangkok. We love Bangkok, but oh my goodness, it, you, it feels so good to just get out of the city and get to the beach. So this is making us so excited to head to the islands. Um, but for now, we're just going to enjoy Hua Hin for the next few days. We've booked three nights at this hotel. We might extend it because we've kept our apartment still in Bangkok. So most of our stuff's still there. So we can sort of just, yeah, come and go as we please. But um, so far, we're loving Hua Hin. And we can't wait for tonight because I think we're gonna head to the night markets. We've heard they're really good. They're about a five minute walk from our hotel and we love Thai food. So all in all, that sounds like the perfect combination to um, enjoy our first night here in Hua Hin. I think I said Hua Hin about 10 times then. <laughs> At least you guys know where we are. smells amazing. We've come to one of the many night markets here in Hua Hin and we're going to grab some dinner. Don't know what, everything smells amazing so we'll see what there is and see what we can get. So first impressions of Hua Hin, it's giving me Phuket vibes, just nowhere near as busy. So when we, when I was researching to come here, I was really thinking that it was going to be a small coastal sort of seaside town, which it is, but it is ginormous. It is so, it's just, I don't know, my expectation was just, it was a lot bigger. It was a lot smaller than what it actually is. So we're going to continue walking around, checking out this town and night market and hopefully get some delicious food. Christy's on a mission for food. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for food. I'm so hungry. We got dessert. We weren't going to get dessert, but um, we kept walking the other end and we had to. These just looked and smelled amazing. So we'll show you what we got in a sec. But also, we've already eaten dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped at one of the little restaurants just off the like off the market. Um, I think I had a I completely forgot what? oyster omelet. Omelette. Oyster omelette. Oyster omelette. Kristen had, had the tom sum. I had um, tom sum, which is the papaya salad, and I also had a stir fried ginger chicken and rice. That's how hungry I was, and I'm still not even full. So, <laughs> but it was delicious, so we didn't film it. So. Yeah. So if you have seen our cheddar chop market video from the last time we we're in Thailand, I was obsessed with these coconut pancakes. They're made with uh, rice flour, coconut milk and uh, like coconut jelly I think or coconut flesh. They're not sweet at all. They're not sweet and Steve got these Chinese mochis so it's made with glutinous rice, peanuts, sesame and sugar. So what are you? What are you? You're already getting into it. It's so hot. Is it? It's straight off the grill. Mm. They're so nice. Oh. They're just that really like crunchy top and bottom, but mm -hmm. gelatinous inside. I love that texture here in Thailand. This is, and same with the Chatter Chuck Market video, this is honestly one of the best things you can ever eat in your life. Well, it is, if you love coconut, 
you absolutely love these little Thai coconut pancakes. I don't know what the um, red, like the purpley color is. I think it might be, um, what did we say, taro or red bean. If you know what it is, let us know in the comments because we have had this so many times and we never know what we're eating. This mochi is so good. It just smells a lot like mm. peanuts, is it? It's got peanuts and like brown sugar on it. All right, we're gonna finish these off. So good. And see you in the next video where we're gonna explore Wahin a little bit more. Yep, and we'll take and you guys along and show you around and see what it's all about. All right, see you next time. See ya.